welcome to this channel today we are going to convert 180 km per hour to meter per second right okay i will convert this based on two methods so let me show you the first method right okay in the first method what will i do i can just rewrite this 180 uh, kilometer by hour like this 180 times 1 kilometer times 1 by 1 hour I am not doing anything I am just rewriting this right okay now I have to convert this kilometer to meter and this hour to second so however so that uh, so we need to convert this kilometer to meter so we have the relationship of kilometer and meter we know that one kilometer equal to 1000 meter right so now we have to put the value of one kilometer here so 180 times 1000 meter times 1 by 1 hour that is 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter we are just putting value of 1 kilometer from here so now already we have converted 180 kilometer per hour to meter per hour right now we have to convert this hour to second but for unfortunately we don't have the direct relationship between hour to second but we we know that one hour equal to 60 minute so at first we have to convert the, this hour to minute by this relationship so right here 1000 meter times 1 by the value of one hour equal to 60 minute right okay now we have to convert this minute to second so how can i convert we know that one minute one minute equal to 60 second so now i have to put value of one minute here so i can 1000 meter times 1 by 60 time 1 minute i can just rewrite this 60 minute like this so that i can put the value of 1 minute from this equivalence so 180 times 1000 meter times 1 by 60 times 60 second you know that the value of 1 minute is 60 second so we are getting here 180 times 1000 uh, divided by 60 times 60 meter this is meter right meter and this is second this zero this zero will cancel each other so we are getting here 180 times 10 divided by 6 times 6 meter by second so now we will use our calculator 36 meter by second okay let me use my calculator what i'll do 180 times 10 1 80 times 10 equal to divided by 36 that gives me 50 that is we are getting here 50 meter by second that is 180 kilometer per hour equal to 50 meter per second so this is the first way to convert 180 kilometer per hour to 
meter per second. So let me show you the second way, right? So delete all these things and come to the basic point here, okay? Okay. So we'd like to convert 180 kilometer per hour to meter per second. Okay. Our second method is consist of three steps. So let me show you the uh, these three steps. In the first step, what I'll do, I will just find out the equivalence between kilometer and meter. As you know that we have to convert kilometer to meter. So we know that one kilometer equal to one thousand meter, and then we have to search for the relationship between hour to second, but unfortunately there is no direct relationship between hour to second but we have the relationship between hour to minute and with minute with minute we have the relationship of second right so after getting basic relationship between uh, between kilometer meter and hour to second we have to in the second step we have to write conversion factor in the second step we have to write conversion factor so let me just write conversion factor if you if you obj, if you observe this conversion uh, this equivalence from this equivalence you you can write to conversion factor if you take meter as a numerator then you have to take kilometer as a denominator And this will be equal to 1. With meter, we have the number 1000. And with kilometer, we have 1. And you can take just opposite of this. So, 1 kilometer divided by 1000 meter equal to 1, right? Uh, you, can also, you can also write two conversion factors from this equivalence and this equivalence. Always remember, conversion factor is equal to one but the good news is that we don't need to memorize this conversion factor as we know that this conversion factor will come to our calculation automatically i will show you a let letter of this video right okay let me delete this conversion factor that i wrote okay now i am going to third step in the third step, I will write the problem. 180 kilometer per hour, right? Okay. Okay, I can just rewrite this like this. One kilometer, kilometer per hour times one. As you know that this one for conversion factor and you can take any time of any uh, any type any number of one like this right so let me take just once here this one for conversion factor that we got in the second step right so what will i do look at here 180 kilometer per hour this one means here a conversion factor would like to cancel this kilometer right uh, and we would like to cancel this kilometer and we want to convert this kilometer to meter. So to cancel kilometer, you have to write kilometer as a denominator so that you can easily cancel this kilometer to kilometer. And with kilometer, you have the relationship of meter. So you have to take meter as a denominator, a numerator. With meter, you have the number 1000 and with kilometer you have number one you can take another conversion factor here as you know that there are n endless number of one here okay now we have converted here uh, kilometer to meter this is our target so then we have to convert hour to second that is hour to second so we need to cancel this hour so i have to write here hour so that we can easily 
cancel this. With hour, we have the relationship of minute. So I have to write here minute. With minute, we have the relationship of, uh, with minute, we have 60 associated. With hour, we have 1. So now we'll convert this minute to second from this equivalence. So what will I do? I will take another conversion factor. So I would like to cancel here minute. So I have to take here minute. With minute we have the relation of second. We know that one minute equal to 60 second, right? Okay. Now we have been able to convert 180 kilometer per hour to meter per second. So let me write everything here. 180 times 1000 meter times 1 by 60 times 1 by 60 second. If you just rewrite this, then we have to write 1000 divided by 60 times 60 meter by second. If we cancel this 0, this 0, then we are getting here 180 times 10 times 6 times 6 meter by second. You can write this 180 times 10 times 36 meter by second. Now we have to use our calculator. Okay. 180 times 10. 180 times 10. This gives us this divided by 36. And we are getting 50, right? That is, the result is 50 meter per second. This is 182 kilometer per hour equal to 50 meter per second. So, this is the result, right? So, thank you for viewing this video. Be well.